If you've had breast cancer surgery, you might have experienced or noticed certain changes following your operation. And you may be wondering whether these are normal or whether there are things you need to be worrying about. Hopefully by the end, you would have gained the knowledge and the reassurance that you need. Without further ado, let's get started. When I talk to patients before their surgery, I always discuss the possible risks and complications depending on what type of surgery that person may be having. The common operations are either a lumpectomy, and this is where the cancerous lump is removed and the breast is conserved. The other common operation is a mastectomy, where the whole of the breast is removed. Alongside breast surgery, you may also find that you will need auxiliary surgery or armpit surgery, and this is usually performed at the same time. The following can occur early on following surgery, and these include pain and discomfort. The hospital will give you pain relief medication to take home for the duration of your recovery. For the first two days post-surgery, it is usually advisable to take pain relief medication regularly, even when the pain is not that severe. This enables you to continue to be on top of the pain, essentially anticipating it before the pain affects you too severely. After a week or two, you may notice intermittent sharp shooting pains or stabbing pains, some experience tingling, burning or prickly pains. This is usually attributed to nerve pain or what we also call neuropathic pain. The nerve endings start to fire up again as they start to regenerate as part of the healing process. These types of pains can continue for a few weeks or months, although with time they should become less frequent and less intense. Some patients do suffer from chronic pain and it has been thought to affect up to 20 to 30% of patients. And for some, this can be quite debilitating and can have a big effect on daily living. It is important to find out as much as possible about the operation, the recovery time, what to expect to feel immediately after the operation and what things are considered to be normal. This knowledge will hopefully help you through any fears or anxieties which in turn should minimize the risk of chronic pain. The second possible or common side effect is altered sensation. So you may experience a sensation of numbness, tingling or hypersensitivity following surgery. If you've had a mastectomy, then it is likely that you will have no feeling at all around the scar and around the chest wall. If you've had auxiliary surgery, then expect to feel a strange sensation usually around the under part of the upper arm close to the armpit. It should settle down with time. If you've had an auxiliary nodal clearance, and that's where all of the lymph nodes have been removed from the armpit, then some people do experience a patch of numbness around the armpit area or the upper part of the arm. And this can be a permanent thing. So do be aware of that. A third possible side effect is lumpiness and firmness of the breast. If you've had a lumpectomy, immediately after the surgery, you can expect the area to feel slightly lumpy and firm. And this is because as part of the surgery, once the lump is removed, the surrounding breast tissue is normally mobilized and moved around to cover the defect created by the surgery. The surrounding tissue also reacts to the surgery and thickens and hardens as scar tissue forms as the healing process begins. Within a few months, this will settle and it does eventually adjust and feel like a normal breast, but you just have to be patient and give it a little bit of time. Another common side effect that can happen is infection. The signs of infection include redness, hotness of the skin, discharge of pus and also tenderness. If the infection has spread to the bloodstream, you may also feel unwell and you may have a fever. The risk of infection is not high, but it can still happen. And it's important to be able to detect the signs early. Normally, antibiotic is the mainstay treatment and the majority of the time, the infection will resolve. If you develop an abscess, however, then this may need more invasive intervention and treatment. An abscess is a collection of pus underneath the skin and it's usually treated with needle aspiration. So you would come to the clinic and we would do an ultrasound scan. And if there is any underlying pus, then we will put a needle into the area and aspirate the pus. You'll also then be given antibiotics. 
Sometimes, if after repeated aspirations the abscess doesn't go away, then you may need surgical drainage, and this happens under general anaesthetic. So the important thing is to identify the signs and symptoms early enough so you can seek medical help if you either think you have an infection developing or if you have an infection that is not going away with antibiotics. The fifth common side effect is a seroma. Now, a seroma is a collection of fluid underneath the skin around the area where breast tissue has been removed. So if you've had a lumpectomy, it may appear as a fullness around the scar and if you've had surgery to the axilla, it normally appears as a lump. If you've had a simple mastectomy without reconstruction, then the fluid accumulates under the skin and you may feel like there is a water bath. This is not dangerous and it is a normal expected thing that can happen after breast surgery. The following side effects can occur as late events, months or even years following surgery. Tiredness is one of them. So just listen to your body and be kind to yourself. And if you are feeling more tired than normal, then do take a rest and identify when you need that downtime. Another late side effect that can happen is lymphedema. And if you've had axillary surgery, then the development of lymphedema is always a risk. Clinically, lymphedema manifests itself as a swelling of the hand and arm. And this can happen sometimes years post-surgery. At the moment, it can be difficult to treat. There are currently new and innovative surgical techniques being developed, but by and large, it is currently an irreversible condition. The treatment for lymphedema at the moment is physiotherapy, including manual lymphatic drainage, as well as exercises and the use of compression sleeves. The last thing I would like to talk about is depression. It is important to distinguish between a feeling of sadness and major depression. A cancer diagnosis is huge and it impacts one's life and those around you. And people react to cancer diagnosis differently. A feeling of grief and disbelief, denial and sadness are all normal reactions to a cancer diagnosis. And these feelings may intermittently surface throughout the post-operative phase. Depression has been found to affect about 15 to 25% of cancer patients. A diagnosis of depression is one that is important to make as this is a condition that can have a major impact on the quality of life. Some are helped with one-to-one -one counseling. However, others may benefit from seeking professional help. And this can be arranged by the family physician or GP. So I hope you have enjoyed that episode and I shall see you in the next one. Take care.